Instagram marketing is beneficial for any business, but how do you create content for it and stay consistent? How can you create content in Canva for free for your Instagram account? What types of content should you create? Let's get started. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and making more money online. So if you're interested in these topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. In today's video, we're going to talk all about Instagram content, Instagram content types and how to easily create your Instagram content, all types of content in Canva for free. Now let's begin with creating Instagram posts. Regular Instagram posts usually should be 1080 pixels wide and 1080 pixels tall. But for the best results, you can use 1080 pixels wide and 1350 pixels tall because this size will take on a lot more space in the home feed, bringing more attention to your content. For regular Instagram posts, you can use Canva templates, you can use your own or my personal template recommendations are listed in the description below. You can find templates for e-commerce shops and any business based on niche. So make sure to check that out. Now the types of posts that you should create for your Instagram account as a business are posts that showcase your product. You can use frame and text, graphics and your colors. You can only use the products and graphics without text. You can have quote images or text only images. They can be giveaway posts or sale posts and they can also be infographics. First what I do when I want to create my Instagram templates that I create by myself, I want to think of the images I want to use and and think of a frame that I want to include in a blank image. After I add the frame and the image, I also think of a background color, graphics, and if I want to add any text or other images. I also make sure to add my fonts, my brand colors, and I also make sure to add my Instagram username on the image if it is an infographic that I created, for example, because you want to watermark your content to prevent it from being stolen. Using the link in the description, you have 100 e-commerce posts already done for you for Instagram that you can easily edit in Canva. So make sure to check that out if you don't want to spend the time creating 100 posts for your Instagram account. For quote posts, I usually add the text and I think if I can do any effects on the text, so like circle it or maybe add it in different fonts. And then I add the graphics elements and obviously I change the font to my brand fonts. And I also don't forget the watermark. For infographics of your products, you can use the background removal option in Canva Pro to showcase your item on the image. After that, you can use the line element and the circle element to create different lines that will showcase some key points about your product. You can drag lines from the item and share a few words about that product. Then you can duplicate that or use different frames to do infographics in different styles. Again, if you just want to purchase already done for you templates, the link is in the description below, so make sure to check them out. Now for carousel posts, these are Instagram posts with different slides. So each slide should be unique, but the first slide of the post should have some kind of title to explain what the slides are going to be about. So take a look at the one I created for my own business. I created why you should enable Instagram shopping for your business. For the next slides, I also included number one and some text, then I included images, more graphics, more text, and I also made sure to add my picture and my username at the bottom. For the last slide of the carousel, you can use a call to action, you can use an image of yourself and remind people to follow you. Because if that post will get shown on the home feed, you want people to know who is the person behind those words and you want people to know that you are the creator and eventually go check out your profile and follow you. Now for Instagram stories, Canva animations are great. You can create stories without animations too, but I suggest using animations for more unique stories templates. You can create your story in the standard size by just going to Canva and searching Instagram story and you can start adding images, elements, text, you can add multiple frames to showcase multiple products and you can create a series of stories. You can choose to animate the entire story, so the images that come up, the elements, or you can only choose to animate the text with the text animations in Canva. If you're planning on using a poll or a question stickers later in Instagram in your story, you can leave a bank space in the template or use an arrow to point to that sticker. Now how do you create your desired aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed after you've already created the posts? How do you arrange them to make sure that they look their best when you start posting them on Instagram? If you already have an order that you want them to go in on your Instagram account, that's completely fine. But if you don't, I usually just use the Instagram story size and I add grids in perfect squares, three per a row, until I fill out the page with 15 posts. 
So I multiply those and I add the grids up to the top and then I upload my post that I've designed in Canva again and I start dragging them on the feed and arrange them based on colors, graphics, maybe text. I make sure not to add too many images that have too much text one next to another and I spread it out a little bit for it to look a bit more breathable and for it to represent the brand. Now for Instagram Reels, you can definitely create Instagram Reels from photos with animations in Canva. In my my suggestion for doing that is creating multiple slides and also including animations. You can create different reels based on step number one, step number two for example, and the first page, the first slide must include what the reel is going to be about as for the carousels that we talked about earlier. Then you can include different slides with animations, giving your tips or whatever you want to share with your audience. When you upload that reel to Instagram, make sure to add catchy sounds and trending sounds so your reel will be seen by more people people growing your account. For the Reels covers, you can also use Canva or just take a slide from your current Reel and use it as a cover. So there you go, this is how you can create high engaging original Instagram content in Canva for free. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such content every single week. If you need help creating Instagram content for your business or somebody to manage your Instagram account, my Instagram management services are listed in the description below. So be sure to contact me if you need this service. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Lydia.IngamingSuccess for more content on making more money online and growing with social media. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.